Well, this is a pretty fun topic we have today. The subject is GPUs or graphics processing units. You may have heard of these. If you're a gamer, you've almost assuredly heard of them. So what's a GPU or a graphics processing unit? Well, to understand how it works and what it does and why it even exists, let's start with a much more important device. A computer has inside it a device called a central processing unit. It's basically the brains of the outfit. And when you consider the purpose of a computer, it kind of makes sense. Computers are here to take in data, work with that data in some manner, and then send data on. At a very high level, that's their purpose. It needs one central part that coordinates that entire operation. They're taking in the data, working with it, and sending it on. But now let's get a little more particular. For a lot of the tasks that a modern computer is used for, that CPU can handle them and handle them well. But there are certain tasks that just take a lot of work on the part of the CPU just because there's so much data to work with and so many operations that have to happen on it. One of the main types of operation like that is working with video. Video, if you think about it, is 60 individual pictures a second on average, each of which has to be displayed on your screen super rapidly in order to have anything that looks like smooth animation or movement in the video. That takes a lot of work because every single one of those 60 pictures, they call them frames, is composed of hundreds of horizontal rows composed of individual tiny dots called pixels. They each need to be set to their exact right color and this needs to happen over and over again, hundreds tall, all in less than a second. In fact, 60 times a second, an individual set of these needs to be put on the computer, on the display. It's a lot of work. So here's what computer manufacturers came up with over the years. All right, we have the CPU inside every computer, central processing unit. But now people are using these computers for this computationally intensive purpose. In other words, intense computing. Intense taking in of data, working with the data, and sending the data on. Computational intensity sounds fancy, but that's all it is. You're asking a central processing unit to do a lot of work. So someone had the bright idea, why don't we put a second dedicated processing unit inside the computer, subject to control by the central processing unit, and its only job is to handle all of those graphics functions the CPU can literally just give it the data. Say, here, here's all the video data. Please take it, do what you will with it. And when you're done with it, just put it on the screen for me. I don't have to worry about it. That's what a graphics processing unit is. It's an assistant to the central processing unit and it just handles data operations related to graphics. Now, they can be expensive, but if you have a need for them, they can be vital. I mentioned, by the way, that on average, you might actually need like 60 frames or individual pictures a second. Some displays and games, you know, the computer programs, are capable of 120 frames a second, even smoother animation, which requires so much more work on the part of the graphics processing unit. So this is one area of the computer manufacturing world with a lot of innovation and constant improvements and a lot of money being spent. You might see GPUs selling for between $500 and $2,000 which is the price of some computers all by themselves. So there you have it, GPUs or graphics processing units.